it's been extremely steady growth. Um, you know, we, we've been in business 44 years. Our business model has been to just make fix people's cars so well, take care of them so well. Key to have good people, that's just all there is to it. You gotta have good people. And the other thing is, is you have to have a vision that you can share with your people that they'll follow. So what I do is I delegate certain things to different people. And then I, of course, I use our way we do cloud-based electronic management system. And that's just a huge help. Specifically, I was looking for a cloud-based operations manual. There was no hesitation on my part to, to get involved with WayWeDo because it seemed like it was so much easier to use and better, and, and it was very affordable. I've been using it for probably four or five years, I think. One of the things it does is it gives me more free time. Like, as we've been sitting here talking, you know, nobody's trying to get to me asking me about this and that. That's because they want to know something, they can go on way we do. Before we had way we do, what happens is I end up having adding a lot of stuff on my C drive. So I'd like, oh, okay, well, let me write a documentation now, cut and paste this, and then I'm gonna keep it on my C drive, I'm gonna title it this and that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and print it out and I'm gonna hand it to people. And then, oh shoot, that needs to be changed. And then I go, okay, well, everybody, what'd you do with that paper I gave you? That's not the one we're gonna use now. We gotta do it this way. We just got a certification for fixing Subaru cars, and they have a really strict program agreement. So what I do is I'm able to break that down into standard operating procedures, and I can have each individual who's responsible for whatever part of that program, they can get written instructions on how to handle it, and I can very effectively distribute that information to those people. I've written standard operating procedures on for the receptionist. So as soon as the person, uh, customer walks through the door, talks about, you know, you're gonna make eye contact within like 10 seconds from the time they walk in. It's just a step by step. It also, if I get a new employee or new receptionist, I have that job description defined within the way we do, and I say, okay, these are all the SOPs that pertain to your job, and one by one, we go through them, and we train from the SOPs. A small startup business would be the, the easiest simple answer because if you can get things going on the right way from the beginning, your chances of success are going to be much higher. As a business owner, you have years of uh, experience and you've, you've solved lots of problems. And so if you put those solutions into the way we do in the form of, of SOPs and you organize things like I'm talking about, you know, it's going to be so much easier for you to sell your business. It's how you gain freedom. And the only thing I regret is that it wasn't available when I started this business because if it was and I had been doing all these SOPs all these years, it would have, it would have helped so much.